Hey guys. So I've been asked a few times to do an update on the lemon and lime trees that I bought. Since I bought them, I've acquired a few more. I'll go over those with you. But the original two lemon and lime trees I got, this one here was a Persian lime. And uh, the transition from the greenhouse wasn't that great. Perhaps it was due to the severely cold weather in the winter, but um, this lime tree lost pretty much all its leaves. Now you can see all the new growth where we have recovered, which is really good. Just waiting for this thing to flower at some point. The other first lemon tree I bought was a Meyer lemon, and it really lost all its leaves. It was a bad transition from greenhouse to house. And not only that, but it had really, really bad scale on it. If it'll focus in. Uh, now, I've taken care of it. You can see them all right there. I just haven't scratched, scratched them off yet. But um, you can see how easy they come off. I'll show you which product I used for that. It worked great. Here's the stuff I used to get rid of the scale, which worked way better than expected. Well, it's just made by Ortho, Bug Be Gone stuff, insecticidal soap, and it says controls aphids, earwigs, mealy bugs, spider mites, psyllids, pear and rose slugs, soft brown scale, and white fly. And we definitely had soft brown scale. Without this, I don't even know if I could have took them all off because they're really stuck. But once I sprayed this stuff on, it was like hairspray. It just turned them all hard and... They basically flaked off, and there's still a few more that I gotta get here and there, but they're dead. So yeah, worked great. Ortho Bug Be Gone Eco. Yeah, this tree had so much scale on it, it was brutal. However, the scale's been beat. Uh, it is flowering. I've got one leaf that survived the transition, and this just started here. So we've got uh, some new growth, some new leaves. The leaves look great. So that's really promising. So we'll have to really see what happens with this tree. It's looking good. It's still growing. I mean, it's, it's showing flowers and typically when it flowers, it'll grow a fruit. However, uh, we'll see. So those were the first two original trees I bought. Since then, about uh, two weeks ago, went to the same nursery and I bought this Bush Eureka lemon tree, which uh, has done really well coming from greenhouse to this house and the second one here is a bush key lime it has not flowered yet but it is it's looking super healthy the nursery had hard water so that's what the white is on the leaves there is a flower starting here but the exciting part about this bush eureka lemon tree is we're getting our first lemon that started and down below there's another one that started as soon as the flower fell off. So that's exciting. This key lime, I don't believe I have found any other than that flower. I don't see any signs of fruit on it. It might be too hard to tell with the camera, but on this Persian lime, uh, the only flower that came up is... It's only had one flower on it. And it is showing a small lime, so we'll have to see how that turns out. And the fifth tree that I bought was a grapefruit tree. Now you can see by the leaves here, it's deficient in minerals. So we're in the process of fixing that. It does have some really healthy leaves. The flowers are starting to die off. I'm not sure if the camera will focus in on that or not, but there is super small grapefruit starting. So I'll have to see how that goes. I'm not a fan of grapefruits myself, but if they grow, we'll surely put them in the stand and sell them. These lemon and lime trees seem to be getting really popular on trend because for places like me in Ontario, you can bring them in in the winter and in the summer we can enjoy them out on our deck, especially if they start to bear fruits. Uh, the, the yellows will be so vibrant and it'll be great to have lemons and limes. Another thing I've done, as you can see here, is I've bought a small humidifier 
just to drive up the humidity a bit in here because it is winter and it is dry. Uh, I'll do, uh, I can do a little video on this uh, humidifier too, which is great. It's super quiet. It doesn't make a sound. It has lots of great options. Very basic. It was pretty cheap and it works good. I also keep a full pot of water in between the plants. Again, just to help with humidity. So there's the update on the plants. Uh, it's no panic if they lose their leaves. They will recover. But we're really excited to get these out for the summer once it starts warming up and it's safe to do so. The flowers are very fragrant. Uh, it's just going to be a, a really great addition to the farm here. So thanks a lot guys. I uh, appreciate you asking for an update video. Here it is. I'll do another one when the fruits start getting bigger. Yeah, if you're thinking about it, it's, it's pretty easy. It's nice for us here to enjoy plants like this that you can move indoors and outdoors. Oh, and before I go, I am still using the same grow lights. I got these three, and it does get natural sunlight from the window, as you can see. Sunlight, daylight, but the grow lights have been good, and everything's good. I'm really happy with where they are right now. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and we'll catch you in the next one.